and this is Shankill Graveyard. Doesn't look a, a particularly large graveyard, and it's got war graves in here. And this is the nurse board. In the 1880s, the gates of Shangle Graveyard became the final terminus for horse trams travelling up the Shangle and Woodvale roads. With typical, typical Belfast humour, it was called at the end of the line, now known locally as Shankill Garden of the West. The graveyard is a fascinating place that reveals much about the social and economic development of the city. I've seen these uh, kind, kind of uh, grave headstones elsewhere. Some people think that they're Masonic, but actually they're not. They can be, but they're not. For centuries, Shankill Graveyard was the main graveyard of Belfast. Many historical and historically interesting graves, the oldest existing headstone dates from 1685. Look out for the grave headstone of uh, Sergeant John Brown of the 17 Lancers, who took part in the infamous charge of the Light Brigade at Ballyclava in 1854. Uh, appropriately, he is buried only 300 metres from Crimea Street. Isn't that interesting? Bird family uh, plot is up here, associated with the Belfast Telegraph, of course, and there's uh, seven uh, Commonwealth war graves. Epidemics of cholera, 1832-49, typhus swept through Belfast in its early industrial period, killing rich and poor alike. Two depressions in the ground mark the location of these mar mass burial pits, where several hundred victims were laid to rest. And then the watchtower uh, stood guard over newly interred bodies. And there's a uh, inscription of Mary Bradford, 1805. Shankill Area Social History 2012 Interesting sculpture just at the entrance of the graveyard And it says remembering over a million people who have been buried here I'm a wee bit surprised at that I'll list uh, some of the folks who are buried in the graveyard and this the farset runs close by. Interesting. Here's the actual Bradford grave where that inscription that we poem is lifted from. As we uh, forces remembrance garden just up above. There's some some very old graves in here. 1743. 1763 May 6th 
It's not 16... I don't know. I can't quite read that. 1685. Seventeen thirty five. And it's got a crest. Can't quite read that. Air Force W.A. Sterling I think uh, I was talking to a guy there and he said this was the youngest guy to be killed in the First World War aged age 14 there it is oh wow Look at that! Look at that! Whoa, we! Eh? I've seen this uh, up in St. Columbus at uh, Derry Stroke London Derry. These um, these grave uh, grave pictures or whatever they call them. There's a special name for them. There's a lot of other servicemen. First World War. That's a miserable old day, but this is... Uh, there's plenty of history on here to brighten up my day. And there was a watch house here. This wall once formed part of a small watch house erected in 1830 by William Sayers and Israel Milliken following the Burke and Hare sensation in Edinburgh. Uh, so relatives uh, used the watch house to look after their um, buried relatives in case uh, grave robbers came and dug them up. Fascinating stuff. There's another war grave there. We remember this garden. Rain's coming on. Let's hope it goes off a wee bit. And again, like all other graveyards, this place is a haven for wild wild life. Birds are flying over my head. I haven't seen anything like that before. That's, that's nice. A wee tree. And these these green areas in front of me here, there, there are people buried there. There's hundreds of people buried there. But they were just paupers, so they didn't have original graves.
Arrange uh, on heavy now. Lovely tree over there. Looks like a weeping willow in the head, I'm not too sure. It's very nice. And here's our cells. Queen Victoria. I haven't seen anything like this in any graveyard. Another war grave. Night James M. C. Creek. 1919, Woods 21. Ah, disaster. Young fella. In memory of all the, the people who suffered as a result of the enemy action, 14th and 16th of April 1941, the darkest night, and they're all buried in probably a, a communal grave here. So that was the Blitz. Interest in this ancient graveyard, Corporal Smith, 1690 of Co Captain Coote's troop. So, Sankle Graveyard on a miserable old wet day, and we're expecting snow tonight. But uh, I'm only disappointed that I didn't, didn't come across the, the grave of the, the guy who died at Balaclava, in charge of the Lake Brigade. But there you go, can't get everything. <laughs>